Well, Motown welcomes American Idol. Show's getting ready to record at the Fillmore. Michael Orlin and Dorian Holly, both here. The uh, show's vocal coaches, two of them, how are you? Excellent. Really good. Really Welcome good. to Detroit. Freezing cold Detroit. Welcome We're from L.A. Indeed. Oh, my, this has got to be brutal on you guys, oh, right? Oh, my goodness. It's a little brutal. Yeah, a little it's bit. Cool. A little so, brutal on the kids, too. Well, I was going to say, I mean, for, I mean, they're from all over the country, but, I mean, for if you're a kid that grew up in warm weather, Right. You walk outside from the bus to the venue, you're a little... Like this kid. <laughs> right, <laughs> right, exactly. Right. You, you, you're at Jersey, right? I'm Massachusetts. Mm -hmm. But no, I'm so I'm used to it. But, you know, these contestants have been in L.A. rehearsing with us for a week. So now all of a sudden they're getting shocked. Their system's getting shocked. You know, shocked the thing about them is, is that they're so excited, though, that they don't really care. Are you guys... When, I, I'm watching this House of Blues episode last night. First of all, when these kids are performing, I call them kids because some of yeah, them are. Yeah, we all do. But, but when, they're, when they're performing at the House of Blues, the magnitude of that alone, there are artists that don't even get that opportunity that we play their songs on the radio. Um, but they seem like they didn't get too nervous. They, uh, they, they, they did it. I mean, that's something we work with them on. I mean, I, we can't take all the credit. There yeah. are these, this group of 24 happens to be really, they're really prepped and I don't know, but we just, all we do is really give them confidence. It's not like we have time to do a singing lesson. We give these kids as much confidence as we can and help them work their music cut out and that's it, you know. And we, and we do have this particular bunch this year, everybody's saying this is the best group overall that we've had before. Yeah. They have a lot of experience and a lot of savvy. Uh, tell me about when, you, when you're a vocal coach and you're, you're dealing with some of these kids, some of them, you know, I've performed in, in bars and on stage and other ones just have a natural ability. Yeah. I'm assuming they're both very different when you, when you coach them. Absolutely. Um, I, I think they all, everyone comes there with a different level of experience yeah. and some of them have never done anything but like karaoke or uh, you know sung in church and and it really it's, it's so fun to watch their growth every week some of them just get it and grow and grow and grow and they become you know Carrie Underwood and Kelly Clarkson and Chris Daughtry that you know it's it's amazing and, and I think that a lot of the kids that come to the shows now have the benefit of watching American Idol for 10, 12, 13, sure. all, these, all these years, and the other shows as well. And so they, they kind of get an idea of what to do. I'm going to go for the show in two years, in three years, or next year. So we have 15-year-olds that were a year old when they watched That's crazy. Kelly Clarkson. That's win. crazy. Right, right. Wow. Um, let me ask you this. When you, uh, when you sit down with these guys, especially tonight, or this afternoon, before yeah. they're about to perform, right. um, you said you don't not necessarily help them so much with the nerves, but you do a little bit. Do you do you have to guide them sometimes on even though the song, the original song, you they went up this high, you're not going to be able to do that. Well, sometimes you do. Uh, I think that a lot of the kids, you look at a singing competition just like a race, yeah. which is not a good thing to do. So you think that the higher I sing or the more stuff that I do, then I'm going to win. And one of the things that Michael and I uh, try to do is say, look, you already know how to sing. Sing like you do, and you singing it necessarily higher or in a higher key is not what's going to get the points for you. How often do you two sing? He's a great singer. <laughs> <laughs> I, just, I just play the piano. I don't yeah, just yeah. play, but I Michael play plays, and he is not a singer, but obviously has a great musical sense. And sometimes he will tell me, why don't you have him sing something like this? He'll sing the line for me, and then I'll sing him so that it makes sense to them. Listen, <laughs> I'm going to see you guys this afternoon. Can't wait. I'm looking great, forward yeah. to it. We're going to have some yeah. fun. And uh, thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, we're going to go. American Idol today in Detroit. How exciting. I'll tell you all about it tomorrow, too.